Hi, I'm Sandy Jerome, and I'm a writer and a graduate of UCLA's Advanced Screenwriting Program. My screenplay, Runaway Cricket, is being produced as an animated musical, sci-fi, by BlackOrb.com. I'm an enrolled and blood member of the Cherokee Nation and a 2023 Native American Media Alliance Feature Film Fellow. If you visit my website, sandyjerome.com, I have lots of scripts, mostly with strong female leads. I also write a lot of books, and some are available for free download at my website, sandyjerome.com, or on Amazon. Just search on Amazon, Sandy Jerome. I'm a huge Disney fan and a certified Disney expert, and I wrote Pixie Dust Death. It's a young adult novel set at Disney World. I've also written a book about my experience on the Disney Wish Cruise, along with the Viking River Cruise. You can find links on my website, along with the shopping list, for items that I mention in the YouTube videos about these cruises. Now that I've finished my Disney Wish videos, I've moved on to Disney's Animal Kingdom, my favorite Disney park, and I've written a book about the amazing animals. So sharing the exhibit with you, copy on the Gorilla Falls Trail is a newer antelope addition to the Animal Kingdom in 2022. The yellow-backed drooker lives in forests and are native to Central and Western Africa, from Senegal to Western Uganda, and some are in Gambia. They can also be found in Rwanda, Burundi, Zaire, and Mozambique. They prefer to eat fruit but will also eat shoots, buds, leaves, and plant roots. Unlike other antelopes that live in herds, these prefer to live alone or as a couple. In an Instagram post made by Dr. Mike Penning, Disney's Animal Kingdom welcomed the birth of a yellow-backed duker calf for the first time in 2023 in over two decades. Their named Pearl is the mother, and the baby calf is named Penny. The scientific name of the yellow-backed drooker is Cephalonotus solipticor. They're one of the shyer uh, animals there, so you may want to ask one of the keepers uh, if it's on the exhibit with the okapi today, or is it out on the savanna? And then when you're looking for it on the savanna, you may want to look first for the okapi because it uses that same exit out of its enclosure to get out onto the savanna. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to visit my website for some free ebooks you can download. And please like and subscribe and ring the bell to get alerted of my next videos.